Let's talk about gravitational force, typically denoted as F subscript G. Now, remember that if I have a whole bunch of masses, right, planet one, planet two, whatever, we don't care, right, and I have now calculated, or we've seen how to calculate the gravitational field strength at a particular point, G. Okay, and let's say for some reason it is pointing here. Okay, uh, let me just redraw that a little bit. Now, the gravitational force is simply mg. And what is this m? This is the mass that you place over here. Right? And so, if I place any mass m at a point where I already know what g is, then the force is simply m times g, and the force will be in the same direction as the gravitational field strength. And we do this all the time. We typically call this weight, right? We know that G on the Earth, on the surface of the Earth, is 9.81. And so when we calculate the so-called weight, which is the uh, simple name for gravitational force, then we simply say, well, my weight is my mass, 60 kilograms, times G. And so we don't have to limit this to the surface of the Earth. This is true for any point in space, as long as I have calculated the gravitational field strength at that point. And so just for completion's sake, I will then, of course, introduce Newton's law of gravitation, Fg, which is written as G m1 m2 over r squared. But as you can see, oops, as you can see, this expression here is simply OG. And so it is not surprising that Newton's law of gravitation is written as such.